Hello, greetings. Uh, I'm really shocked uh, at reading. I read it a few days ago on Wikipedia because I came across again the same kind of lecherous Pakistanis like Mickey Malik and Irfan Sheikh on the Facebook Messenger. <clears throat> and I played the detective and all this. Uh, so, you know, you would consider me uh, saying bad words and abusive, being as abusive, uh, but you don't know what we have been through in Pakistan suffering from these lecherous crank calls. Um, if we go to Bori Bazaar, Sadar, we get touched. Recently, before coming to Dubai uh, for good, I was told that uh, in Karachi by someone, a uh, shop uh, owner, uh, that uh, um, you know, uh, the at Tariq Road, there are people getting raped and all this. Uh, uh, women getting raped. Uh, a lot of rape has uh, increased in uh, Tariq Road, Karachi on uh, on Tariq Road. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I often wondered, many many a times, going through these uh, harassment cases in Pakistan, Karachi. Most of my life, if you know, I've lived in Karachi most of my life. So, and studied there and all this, right? Uh, so why these people, like Mickey Malik now, I can show you, I have some proof, recent proof on Facebook Messenger. And I can even show you the videos he likes, like when they're against, um, sorry, I know that I should not be uh, just briefly touching on it and not showing you, but right now my, um, I can't wait uh, to send this message out to the people of Britain, to the in memory of those uh, young girls groomed in Britain, British girls, white uh, British girls, groomed by Pakistani groups and all those grooming groups, men. A uh, why this thing, and then he play. So I want to. Sh I want it. I can't show you right now the videos. I have it on my notification Facebook that, uh, you know, I feel that you would at least see this. The videos he's liked are against the ones I felt angry against United Arab Emirates or my self-confessions or India, uh, the post against India, you know, the grocery that sold this here in an Indian grocery. He's like that too. So a few days ago, when the case, Mickey's uh, case started, why he spoke, he said about my principal, I want to see how far they would go, whether they're decent enough to leave this uh, me alone, a lady alone, when, you know, she's bad-mouthing. I want to see how much he would bad-mouth and me back, because we've had these crank calls, very bad ones, you know, all that. Uh, uh, very, very bad uh, things, right, in Pakistan, a Karachi. And they are unstoppable. So what I was, uh, I found out, uh, I did some research again, like is this a curse of Yahya Khan, what he did to the Bangladeshi women, girls, and during the war and afterwards, uh, raping them, getting thousands and thousands, thousands, uh, millions. I don't know. Okay, I'm not. I don't want to exaggerate, uh, but like, uh, so I can check. You can check on Wikipedia, please. Google search. And uh, my aunt used to tell me that this Yahya Khan was a terrible, uh, extremely bad person. <coughs> what we got from him. So what? Where do these people come from? These Pakistanis. They're unstoppable in their lecherousness and harassment. And, all this and the bad words they have. And I learned all these bad it's words. Like, so sorry. So I'm going to put this on uh, right to show you. And uh, sorry, I can't listen to this voice of um, Malik, Mickey Malik on my message. Smoking and all this. Uh, I don't care what. <clears throat> so, you know, you might blame me. You might say British people. You might uh, blame them. This is what I was afraid of, that word, you know, it gets too much. So it lost our uh, peace of mind. 
it's very very distressing so when we become rude in reaction to these pakistani some of them are extremely lecherous and unstoppable rapists gang rapists happening vinayat case <coughs> Look at what I found on Wikipedia, right? I'll just do this and end the video because, and I am uh, listening to myself, my confession, my weakness, right? And uh, this is outrageous. Like, I used to wonder where they come from, the Pakistanis, and they blame American girls now again, Mickey Malik, uh, against Brits, Brit, British people. You know, uh, we blame, uh, they blame Pakistani, like Mickey, Mal like Mickey Malik. So I have to be careful with my words. Uh, I don't mean the every, uh, like all Pakistan. And we couldn't even take action, like, because the politician, you will find out. So you do a contemplation on this. This is outrageous. The reason Yahya Khan's Rani generals, Mistress, late. Okay, I'm sorry that she had to go through, and I mentioned that whatever she has to go through, but I agree at Sister Gertrude of Darul Sakon, caring for the uh, ones who, you know, these uh, children, the parents used to say they're defective, we don't want them. They used to throw them, and Sister Gertrude would take them. Then there was this mother, uh, there's Dr. Faw. There was Dr. Faw Leprosy Center, Marie of uh, Marie, founder of Marie Adelaide Leprosy Center, God knows when, in the 90s, 40s. I don't even know when she started this, when she came from Germany. Sister Gertrude was also from Germany, I think, I'm, uh, most probably, yes. So uh, you can check these things on Wikipedia. Now my energy is leaving me, I'm not feeling well. I'd like to, uh, as much as I can, uh, expose these people. It's been many, many years. And then, you know, we get blamed that we are abusing back at them. Why should we invite them or why? No, I didn't invite Mickey Malik, but how they come and how they, like, the uh, you can't blame the person uh, like me or, or the British girls even. You know, using their uh, freedom uh, or the Western way that they put, you no, know, they put their girls on display and all this, and they have a very free society, and that's why. But listen to this, listen to this. Other people say, I should not care uh, about me, that she's a smoker or whatever they want to say. I shouldn't be caring about that, but I have to make a confession. And so it's really terrible, like if you start smoking and once they ban it in the offices, they banned it at the airport on the airplane, it was very difficult for us, right? Uh, long flights, long hours and all this. And um, so someone could uh, get into a bad habit of uh, harming another, you know. Uh, so it's a very a thin line between all these things, bad habits. Uh, you harm yourself, I used to tell myself, but don't harm another. And then my friends, Christian friends used to tell me that, look, you're smoking here. And this passive smoking thing came out about passive smoking. So you're harming us. Uh, uh, we, we get the worst of it. There was an article, uh, things were coming out medically or something like this, that passive smoking is worse than, you know, the smoker himself smoking. Okay, I'll just skip some of this. I'll try to get to the gist of the matter. That uh, the one sorry. law in my hands and uh, I'm going to beat the shit out of Mickey, Mickey Malik. I'm going to beat the shit out of Mickey Malik against my principle, what he said. I can cut his dick. 
I've told him to come to Dubai and meet me, what I want to do to him. So here I've made a group uh, saving my mummy, Mrs. Manira Gulzar, but then I changed some of it and since the year, the new year, some new uh, things came out on the group, Facebook group. Um, it's taken away what I wrote here about the group, about my principal. That I would take the law in my own hands if I I'm going to take action. Have you seen that movie Lipstick? When the law, justice is blind. And fails. Have you seen the last part of the movie Lipstick? I think, let me show a movie Lipstick, right? She takes revenge on her, on the rapist. rapist. So I don't, they don't give you rifles or guns or bombs. So this group of mine, again, back to that group, um, this evil and disorderly, this is my group here. Save me and my mommy, Mrs. Munira Fikri. Uh, this is, okay. No, this is not Mickey Malik here. Um, very easy, very easy for you Pakistanis to point fingers at Indians and Arabs. Also British and Americans. Look into your own selves, your dirty minds and all. And I will give it to the Indians later on. Five years, I go to Life Pharmacy. Loy Macedo uploaded this video last month or some hour. Oh, no, I found it last month. <clears throat> if Mickey Malik here comes again and likes this video, remember your Pakistani legacy. You see what Yahya Khan did to the Bangladeshis? And what happened to you? Uh, I was wondering what happened to these crazy molesters in Pakistan. What happened is... Where they came from? If I may say so here, I found on Wikipedia Yahya Khan how uh, the Pakistani, some of them have turned out to be very uh, le uh, lecherous, very lecherous. Uh, Extremely lecherous. Had, so Wikipedia says that there was this uh, woman, she didn't have a good life, a lady, and uh, she became a mistress. Uh, she was married to a police officer, Pakistani police officer. Her parents gave her a hard time. Her uh, her husband gave her a hard, hard time. And then how she became uh, a clean akhtar here on Wikipedia. Yaya is said to have had a relationship with a clean akhtar, but he was never married. So this Akli Makhtar, Wikipedia, this is her, Wikipedia has given me. She started to provide, uh, she became, you know. And uh, for these frustrated Pakistanis, like Mickey Malik, She has her own reasons for providing prostitutes and a brothel uh, relationship with Yahya Khan. Uh, you can read about her early life. It was quite tragic. I'm really sorry. Uh, Akli Makhta was born. Uh, no, when she, she was married off by her parents to a police officer 
Moez G. In abundance of North uh, Karachi sector, 11 something one. I haven't got my reading glasses on. So please, this is serious because I wondered why Pakistanis have become, and we blame it on India and all that, India ka jadu, India ki, India's uh, raw, uh, you know, all the time we blame it on India. But we don't first look at our own doings, our own deeds. Pause. Quickly drawing conclusions against Arabs, Indians, and others. First of all, Indians who come here, they didn't get much of their encouragement to practice their religion. Oh, there is, uh, there are things, uh, there are te uh, temples here in Dubai. But you know, also getting into the life, uh, losing in touch with your root, uh, to respect your devis and one day mataram and all this. Anyhow, we have a tragedy about Pakistan that I learned. It could have come out. What is the uh, effect? What is the cause of all these lecherous people, uh, men in Pakistan? Boys too. I was determined to beat men at their own game since my husband was in the police. I had been observing men in positions of power throughout my married life. And I had realized that all men in positions of power needed a vent. And the vent they require the most is a bedmate provided through a reliable agency. <clears throat> That's our reason. The higher a man's position, the greater his demand. Thus, Akhtar adopted a motto of Mia ki juti, Mia ki kesar, which means to beat men at their own game, and started her own prostitution business, where she provided girls to men in need. Akhtar had not acquired formal skills or qualifications. They say necessity breeds, what do you call it? Uh, just forgotten the whole code. So you don't have to learn. I could, thank God I didn't go into this, but you know, in Pakistan, I know why. Like, um, someone is. So now I know why I failed in Pakistan, uh, taking the dirt, filth, away from Pakistan because uh, legacy they have left behind since Yahya Khan's time. Cornered to such an extent that I could have become a terrorist oh, and beaten oh. up oh, the yes. Sunni Muslims. And the Akhtar had not acquired formal skills or qualifications to support an independent career, but she had come to know many rich and powerful men through, we were not this, uh, we weren't, see, I wouldn't uh, trouble the rich. I wouldn't even ask for help from the Pakistani favoritism, you know, so much. But this uh, lady was uh, very intelligent and uh, she had Pakistani, you know, she learned the ways. Powerful men through frequenting clubs with her former husband. She met General Yaya via these means, and a relationship between them developed. Relationship with, between, with Yaya Khan. Due to Akhtar's close association with Yaya Khan and power she exercised. I don't know, women can do this. Uh, how can you like hook? How do you do it? I, I still haven't learned power she exercised. Oh, sorry, it just uh, got away from my Facebook profile. Continuing from there, where I Due to the connection, she was known as General Rani, Queen's, uh, General's Queen. She's said to have lovingly called Yaya Khan Agha Jani. Akhtar, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, Akhtar held 
no official position, but she was given a special treatment due to her connection. A special treatment due to her connection with Yahya Khan. She denied she was ever a Yahya Khan's mistress. She denied it and claimed that they were merely friends. She revealed in an interview that drinking alcohol and women were Yahya Khan's weaknesses. And General Rani exploited both of his weaknesses. So please don't think it's the Hindus, Indians living here, what they have left their house, how expensive it is here. Uh, you can't only blame the Hindus. You've got to see yourself. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Exploited both of his weaknesses. Drinking alcohol. Someone going to exploit my weakness here and call me and say, you know, Supari, Sally Supari is here. Indian Supari. And then get me in jail. So who? Le miserable. There's what? Who to blame? The society. She maintained that she was only playing the role of a woman behind the scenes, her excuse. <clears throat> Come on, be courageous enough. No, no, but these people, they will not be courageous enough to admit. Shameless. Ad uh, so she did not admit. She was saying she made an excuse or this is a reason. I don't know how far valid it is, playing the role of a woman behind the scenes, had always maintained her dignity and saw herself playing the role of a mother figure mother. to the homeless and needy young girls mother that she was prostituting. My goodness, this is the height of is it no shame. At least I had some shame here. Chewing Supari, this box art, it's very, yeah. Okay. So, oh, this is a message. Okay, now I will take a break. This is too much. What happens in Pakistan? What? What's her reason? Sorry, excuse me. She meant, I didn't read this when I first read about she maintained that she was only playing the role of a woman behind the scenes. You know, like Mickey Malik. Now on Facebook. Had always maintained her dignity and saw herself playing the role of a mother figure. Mother. What? To the homeless and needy young young girls that she provided, that she provided to the rich and the powerful men. It's written in Wikipedia. If Maki, you see, this is where the case start. Mickey Malik, oh no, this case starts from living in Pakistan. Legacy, legacy. Now, Americans, Arabs, here, Indians, you see this? You see how the Pakistanis are prostituting girls, young girls, not even girls, young girls, and saying that, what was her excuse? Mother figure. How is Mickey Malik going to respect my principle when they're, you know, these politicians, their rulers, their caretakers? their mothers are doing this. Sorry, this was a message. See, case, case open again. How can you respect someone's principle and know, what? oh, she's like your mother figure because they have come out from the wombs of these be uh, women. And uh, Aklima, Aklima Akhtar provided the, the, they must have been born by them, these poor young girls. And what did their mother figure say? It is not wrong. I live a dignified life and give them a dignified life. They are homeless. 
Okay, please look at this. This is extremely outrageously uh, terrible. This is what we have been going through uh, in Pakistan with these men and women. You see, this is why they cannot respect a principle like Mrs. Munira Gulzar in my relationship. And they cannot stop the molestation. Or Mrs. Desai in my relationship. Okay, with uh, Mrs. Manira Gosar, it's, it's something else, uh, but uh, with... And thank God Mrs. Munira Gulzar is a uh, Basteki. She came from Aden, she was born in Aden. Uh, they used to go to, uh, um, what's that, uh, Linga, uh, the, I think south of Iran, they uh, hailed from Aden to, uh, you know, they used to move from Aden to the uh, Iran. Right. So they were persecuted there by the Shia, and that's why uh, they had to leave Iran. <clears throat> okay, um, <clears throat> I'm going to. Sorry about the bad, whatever uh, quality and all this. This is outrageously shocking. So the uh, these <clears throat> Pakistanis, they give you these excuses that well, we're not doing anything wrong. You need this. Uh, we want to be your friend. And uh, it doesn't matter if you don't want to, what your thing is. And then they blame it on, also blaming it on Americans and British people, girls and, uh, you know, Westerners and Europeans and Indians and Arabs now. So all the videos he's liked, Mickey Malik, I can you, show you later on. Uh, so I, but I don't have the strength. After reading this, so all that legacy, I don't have the strength after. I'll just take a break. I'll give myself also a break. I Hopefully I give myself a break. I didn't even have energy for this, to do this video for YouTube, a separate one. But since I started to listen to it, I got a bit of energy. I said if I'm listening to it, then I should also make a video of it. So unreliable, my uh, plans change like this. And I struggle with my energy also in talking. Can you see this? Uh, where now, after so many years, thanks to Wikipedia, Google search, where this dirty, filthy legacy has come from and the reasons they give for gang rapes and rapes, even now in uh, like, uh, it's so rampant uh, that no, we are not wrong and they are unstoppable. They don't stop at anything, shamelessly unstoppable, and blaming others. And <clears throat> so <clears throat> if we abuse them, they say, why are you, no, no, don't abuse our mothers and sisters, like Mickey Malik was saying. So I was playing the detective to see how far he will go with this and leave me alone and he came on my principal, he, he mentioned my principal, thank God she's Bastaki, you know, she's originally Bastaki, born in Aden, Yemen. Uh, so thank God, because uh, we don't know which politician's wife uh, could could have been provided, what legacy, and we, I know I suffered molestations and yeah, shameless, shamelessly. What uh, sexual assaultations and molestations and all this uh, from my father's side, my uh, wicked grandmother. Not only that, but in Pakistan, uh, it's rampant. A lot of people go through it. A lot of girls and boys go through it. So do me also. I heard about it. They cannot see this. Even if we tell them, ki ghar nahi hai. they don't stop. Like. Do you see why the junk, the Bill. prostitution, and she's claiming what is her defense? A reason. This is outrageous. This is where we got all this Pakistani Legacy. lecherous men. This this was their mother figure. And this is where the children of Pakistan come from and now have grown up to be, you know, whatever age they are from these young women who were used by their own people. Mother figure. Okay, it's ended. 
I have to go now. Thanks a lot.